football is finally here. Been waiting for NFL Sunday all week. <clears throat> Haven't had one of my better weeks uh, this week. Broke even a couple of times. Had a couple of good days this week, but overall, not too pleased with my selection of picks. So I'm trying to turn that around. However, my uh, Thursday night NFL pick was correct. So I'm happy about that. And uh, let's just get right into this matchup between the Colts and the Jaguars. It's at 12 p.m. on CBS. The Colts coming into this one as the favorites at minus two and a half. The, the Colts run defense allowing 4.4 yards per carry, ranked 19th in the NFL, and 104.3 yards per game, ranked 16th in the NFL. On the other side, the Jags offense is averaging 4.8 yards per carry. Leonard Fournette just having a monster year. Uh, the Jags defense, though, ranked 29th in yards per carry allowed, allowing 4.9 yards per carry and 120.2 yards per game. That's 22nd in the league. The Colts rushing offense averaging 4.2 yards per carry. I can see a lot of running between both of these teams. Uh, the Jags are getting Nick Foles back. He returns from his week one injury. The Jaguars' pass defense has held opposing QBs to 88.9 passer rating and have 30 sacks, which is tied for fourth in the league. Um, the Colts' pass defense ranks among the worst in completion percentage allowed, 27th in the league. I think Nick Foles is going to have a field day against that. Um, the Jaguars are 3-1 and one against the spread on the road. The Colts are 2-3 and three against the spread at home. The under is 4-1 and one in division games this season for the Jaguars. Um, I like the Jags plus 2.5 here. I think that's a comfortable plus 2.5 for the Jaguars to be able to achieve. I like the Jags to win this game outright. I think that they're going to wreak havoc in that backfield. Um, I think they're going to be causing problems for the quarterback all day. Um, I think it's expected for Jacoby to come back, and they're going to take it easy with him. I think that they're going to try to ease into the game. I think for once the Jags' rush defense finally gets some key stops, um, they should be expecting the run against a Colts team that's averaging 4.2 yards per carry and not trying to hurt their star quarterback late in the stretch of this season. Uh, I think this is a game that Jags need a lot more than the Colts so that they can stay a, in a playoff contention. Uh, I think Nick Foles wants to go out there and show that that money that the Jaguars spent was well worth it. Uh, Leonard Fournette having a big monster year. I don't see that slowing down against a run defense in the Colts that's, like I said, ranked 19th in the NFL and uh, 16th in the NFL in yards per game allowed at 104.3. Uh, both these teams are going to run the ball. I won't be surprised if the total goes under as well. Um, so both my picks for this game, I have two picks, the total going under and Jags plus two and a half. Those are my picks for this game. Thanks, everybody, and good luck.